In this video, we're going to be going over adding material to a uh, object. So in this case, we have this table that I've built in the past. And if we change it so that our graphics display shows realistic, it's just the typical gray that it pre-establishes to all, um, all uh, extrusions. This is their standard color that they get. So each of these different components can be selected and applied in coloring. So we'll just start, start with the table top. If we come over to the materials, if you click on this by category, there's this little box that has three dots to it. And if you click on that, it's gonna open up a window that then has all the materials that are already preloaded into the system and later materials that you'll be able to add yourself as well. And what we're going to do is just go into the search bar and we're going to search up a wood. We're going to just make this a wood counter table. If nothing comes up at first, then it means that something's not loaded. But if you open up the drop down menu, you can see that it has them. You just got to load it in. So we'll just grab a simple uh, mahogany wood and then bring it up to the top. And then by selecting that, we can click OK and it applies the color to it, to which we can then go through. We can select all of our legs. And for just some fun, we'll grab a different kind of wood uh, just to show a difference. Let's do a cherry, so cherry and mahogany. So we'll load that one up and we'll grab it. We'll click OK and that'll give it color. And then for our last little base support, Let's just go with something completely random and we will once again grab another wood and let's just grab bamboo um, because why not? So we take it, we click apply and then this brings in our different colors. It allows us to make it look a little bit more authentic and if we want to, we then just load into project and it's already written so we overwrite the existing and I'm not going to worry about saving right now, but if we cut down to here and in the realistic, there is our table with the now applied coloring. Although some of them seem to struggle to come across probably because they weren't saved into the project itself, but the material from the family does have it. So that is how to add materials to a family.